Hi guys and welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching Riverdale Season 2 Episode 9. This is called Silent Night, Deadly Night. Now according to my daughter, she thinks that we find out who the Black Hood is in this episode. She actually got spoiled uh, back when she was watching Season 2 um, on Netflix. Uh, so she stopped watching Season 2 and uh, she doesn't, she didn't see a lot of season two, so, but she thinks that you find out in episode nine. I'm not holding on my hopes on that, considering she didn't even watch it. Uh, she's been bugging me. <laughs> she's like, can I tell you who it is? And I'm like, no, I was like, you're gonna spoil it. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping that it is revealed in this episode so that she can stop bugging me about it. Uh, because she keeps asking me, who do you think it is? Who do you think it is? And, and then she laughs at me when I tell her. And it's the same theories I've told you guys. So I'm not like telling her one thing and telling you guys another. But uh, yeah, so anyway, if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter or would like to get early access to my reactions or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, the links are down below. Let's get into this episode. Oh, oh Holly. What? Is this a dream? Is it the Black Hood? She's dreaming about the Black Hood? Yeah. There's nothing to put in. What? She did survive a fire. I was like, she like disappeared and. It's going to be a hard candy Christmas this year. There she is. Time to face facts. We have no money. Eighty-six thousand. What dollars? <laughs> that can't be right, can it? Or doesn't your insurance? It was a surgery. Am I pimping the serpents out as drug runners? Boy. Well, you wouldn't have to do it, Jughead, if you had stayed away from Penny like you told you to. Uh, where's Mr. Svensson? No idea. It's been out a few days. You just call me in. You and Veronica confronted Mr. Svensson about his connection to the Black Hood. I know he's not here. Betty, we found out Mr. Svensson's secret. What if we led the Black Hood right to him? What if we got him killed? I got you something, too. The Lodge Chirpal Trust has made its donations for the fiscal year. Fred Andrews will have to tighten his belt. Fred's selling Christmas trees for extra cash, Dad. I mean... That's the kind of man, the kind of father he is. You know, I believe I have some work to finish in the study. Maybe you could go to Mr. Lodge for a job. Of course, he'd probably ask what skills you have, and you'd be forced to admit that the only skill you have is being a terrible mother. So I guess you're going to have to get creative in the new year. You should have drowned them at birth, like a basket of kittens. <laughs> It's gonna be a black hood gift. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this the sound scared me. Oh, whose finger is that? Closed is that the janitor? That belongs to the sinner, Joseph Conway. He's talking about Mr. Svensson. You have one final trespass to unearth. Find the truth, reveal it to the town, and you will perhaps save his life. Find where the primal sin was committed, and you'll find the sinner Conway may be alive. And as always, don't tell- What? You maniac, don't tell Sheriff Keller. Archie, what sin? What could Mr. Svensson possibly be guilty of? Veronica and I talked to him. Betty, his entire family was murdered by some crazy preacher. So what sin could Joseph have done? Is it the pointing out the person who killed his family and the guy being killed? Oh, she just found out that he owns Pops. This is gonna go on for as long as Penny wants. And if her favors keep getting bigger, which you know that they will, what happens when she asks for more serpents in on this? Well, then I'll bring more serpents! I don't understand that if Penny's a, a serpent, why are the other serpents letting her treat them like that? Of course. I mean, they could take care of her. Just saying, it doesn't make any sense why they're letting her treat the serpents yes, this way. The Hermione Apollonia Lodge. And it's a black American excess card. Jeez. Two, the names nine, of the characters. Five, seven, two, three, <laughs> zero, zero. And I doubt that any of you became serpents just to be at the beck and call of a drug queen pin. We have to take out Penny. 
What I'm asking is, are you willing to risk your necks to save my dad's life? I'm in. Me too. That's what I'm talking about. Joseph. It was only later when he was with us that Joseph admitted that in his terror and shock, he may have pointed a finger of accusation. At the wrong man. Oh my God. But that's his sin. sin was just that the woman had the most striking hair, white, save for a cherry red stripe. Nana Rose Blossom. That's who came to my mind. Yeah, I decided that you would cover Fred's medical expenses. I mean, if you can afford to buy pops and then lie to my face about it. How can I be part of this family if you keep hiding things from me? Mia, you think you want to know everything, but you don't. My name is on all of those documents in your desk, Daddy. Doesn't that mean I have the right to know? Yes. She deserves to know the truth, sir. But frankly, Penny, I don't care where you set up shop, but it's not going to be in Riverdale. Urban law says you can't hurt one of your own. Get you gonna remove the tattoo? Or deface it? That tattoo doesn't make you a serpent. I hope he really did cut her tattoo off. Where did they hang the Batman? Oh, they didn't hang him. Buried him alive. I had a picture of them smiling at the place standing under the devil's hand this is the part where we end this where we save mr svensson and stop the black hood tonight but i need you with me i can't do this alone i need betty cooper all right where did that even come from I mean, I, they kept staring at each other's lips, but I don't understand why. They were like panicking and everything, and then like all of a sudden she just oh, kisses God. him. Whatever. I'm in, but I have ground rules. I refuse to do anything illegal. Well, that's fine, especially since we're not doing anything illegal either. That charge I made for Fred's medical bills? I want that to stay. Yeah, it's gonna complicate matters. Fred is a proud man. He's not- we'll smooth that over, though. I rallied the younger serpents. We drove her out of Riverdale, and I got my pound of flesh in the process. Are you nuts? She will be back. You she better not leave that. This life that you wanted to protect me from, I'm proud of who I am. You can't take that away from me. Where is Sheriff Keller? Why would the Black Hood bury an empty coffin? What if it's a... Get in the coffin. Gonna make her bury him? And step out of the grave. Freaking hit him with the shovel! The shovel's longer than that gun. Come on. That's the town's secret sin. That's what you want revealed, right? Mr. Spencer, wherever he is, he doesn't have to die. Archie doesn't have Hit him! Yes! Where is he? Where'd he go? This way. Hey! Come on, Archie. Shoot him! Shoot him in the leg! I'll shoot you. I swear to God, I'll do it. Shoot him! Escaping this ends tonight. I said stop. Who did that? I don't think he did that. Did he? Okay, I'm about to say I didn't think he did. He looked surprised. It was the janitor, right? Blood for blood. He said it wasn't him, though. I'm so confused. I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, Svensson was always around, lurking in the hallways. He could have seen me and Miss Grundy in the music room. 
Yeah, he could have seen Moose and Midge buying Jingle Jangle. Oh, guys, this is starting to feel like that weird last scene in Psycho. I don't buy it. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Sorry, it doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Vintage Underwood. It's the typewriter of champions. <laughs> you, uh, you maybe want to swing by later? Say thanks in person? Oh, I... I mean, I'll probably just call her. Or text her. I know that I need goodness in my life. I need you in my life. I love you too, Archie Andrews. Does he still want to be with her after they kiss Betty? She'd seen a dark reflection, a truth that could not be burned away. A truth that whispered to her, this isn't over. Okay guys, so that was the end of episode 9 of season 2 of Riverdale and yeah, I don't... Whether this was actually true or not, that he... that. Mr. Svensson or whatever his name is, uh, Conway, um, was the Black Hood. I don't buy it. Whether it's true or not, I just don't buy it. It doesn't make any sense why he would be the Black Hood. You know, he was a sinner and he was killing sinners. I just, I don't get it. I don't buy it. Um... You think Archie would know, you know, because he replayed, you know, staring at the black hood so many times. And then when he looked at Mr. Spencer, he didn't see, he didn't see it. And I just, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me, especially him cutting off his own finger. Uh, I don't buy it. It just doesn't make any sense. So. That's what I have to say about that. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess it does make sense, you know, like him seeing things like how he would target Moose and Midge, you know, because he would have, he could have seen them buying the drugs and he could have seen Archie with Miss Grundy and that would, that would explain how the Black Hood would know to go after Miss Grundy. And, uh, but... I don't really see how that that led him to Fred. Um, I mean, I guess Fred and Harmony weren't, you know, exactly like hiding their relation, like them dating, because it was like public. So I guess that's how he would know about that. Um, has he been around since Betty was a kid, and she read her Nancy Drew novels around school or something? I mean, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I don't know. That ending there makes me think that maybe the Black Hood story isn't over yet. Um or maybe something creepy or dark is gonna happen with Betty. She's gonna turn psycho. <laughs> Cause she could. She she has the potential. Um so I don't know. Um so I guess Archie and Veronica are back on. She told Archie she loved him. After he gave her a gift with a necklace of the two of them in it. Um, I don't know. I thought that the kiss between Betty and Archie was really weird. It just kind of came out of nowhere. Like she was panicking. He was trying to calm her down. Like all of a sudden she just kissed him. I'm like, okay. It just, I don't get what that was about. Um... Also, Jughead took matters into his own hands and recruited some of the serpents. And they took Penny out of Riverdale. And um, I'm guessing they cut her tattoo off. Um, I mean, it didn't show it. I mean, I, I was pretty sure it wasn't going to show it. But it looked like that's what, our, uh, what Jughead was doing. So, I don't think that's the last we're going to see of her. I'm sure she's going to come back like uh, FP says. So we'll see what happens with that. I don't know if it would be this season or next season. Um, 
Also, now apparently Veronica knows everything that's going on with the lodge business. And she says she's in as long as they don't do anything illegal. So I don't know exactly what she knows about the family business, but hopefully she doesn't turn corrupt like her parents. Uh, she also paid off uh, Fred's hospital bills of $86,000. It's not a surprise that, you know, the hospital bill would be that much because you did have to have surgery and all that. And, you know, that costs money. Um, yeah. So, and I think that this was, like, the winter finale. Um, so, it was okay for a winter finale, I think. Uh, they tried to close up something, but, like, a storyline with the Black Hood, but not really. I don't know. I just don't buy it. I don't buy the Black Hood being the janitor. I just don't. So, but whatever. It, I mean, it's probably true, and, and I'm saying that I don't believe it. And I'll never believe it. It just doesn't make any kind of sense to me. But whatever. Um, so yeah. I enjoyed the episode. Despite the janitor thing. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.